So when I was in my mid-20s, my parents told me that they had put aside a pile of money for my wedding that would be happening eventually when it happened. Uh, and uh, I was taken aback by uh, with surprise. I had not expected that. And I should also tell you that I recognized my class privilege back then that my parents were a even able to do this in the first place. And I filed this away in, at the back of my mind, and I was in school at the time, not ready to get married. And it wasn't until after I graduated from law school and I was out in the working world and then started to think more about my future that I recalled this information. And also at the time, my parents were like, okay, you're done school now. Like, maybe you should find someone, hint, hint. And I remember at the time thinking to myself, but I'm not ready to get married. And there were there were no prospects in sight. And I, and I also had already started feeling the pressure of the, oh, you're a woman and you finished school and now you should get married and find someone and blah, blah, blah. And I was just not into it. And right around the same time, my a lot of my friends were talking about how to build a financial security net for themselves, including things like buying a home, like a small condo or whatever. And I started thinking more like that. And I actually made the decision that what I really wanted to do instead of focusing on finding someone and getting married is to buy myself um, a condo. But I didn't have enough money to do that. And so I decided to ask my parents for uh, help with a down payment. And I asked them instead if I could use the money they had set aside for my wedding in the future uh, for the down payment, towards the down payment. And they resisted at first because they were like good Indian parents. They want to get their daughter married. But then they agreed. And I'm so grateful and glad that they did. So thanks, mom and dad. Uh, and I have to tell you, that decision is probably one of the smartest things I ever decided for myself. And it's not that I'm against women getting married and, and having lavish weddings and all of that. It's just that I feel like we put so much pressure on ourselves and society puts so much pressure on us to focus on getting married and having a big fancy wedding and the marriage and the blah, 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 as opposed to focusing on something that's extremely important, which is our financial stability. Weddings, marriage in particular, extremely important if you want that. But financial stability, it is critical, it is key. And this is something that I think women must focus on increasingly. I'm so glad that I did it. It's one of the smartest things I ever did. Thanks, mom and dad, again, for that help. And it's something that I want you to think about as you, as a woman, as anyone, trying to lay the foundation of having a successful future ahead. What can you do to strengthen your financial security safety net? I hope this helps. Thanks for watching as always. If you want more, you can check out RithuBasin.com. Lots of videos and tools there to help. Thanks.